Well, here we go again, guys. Welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, we're gonna be reacting to a uh, video, video advice. This is gonna be my first time watching this. Elon Musk accidentally reveals his secret hack in an interview. Will this give us quality information to better ourselves, make more money, become more financially independent? I don't know. We're gonna see though. We're gonna see. Video advice has some interesting videos on their channel, so I'm gonna be reacting to a few of these on my channel. Um, but this is this is the first of a uh, many. So let's get into the video and see what it says. Can we apply some of these tips to our life? Let's get into the video. Honestly, after sitting down and talking to him, I, I realized that I'm I'm now convinced that he's an alien. <laughs> I really do, I mean, I, there's what what other answer is there? During a one-on-one -on -one interview with Chris Anderson, Musk reveals this missing link which he attributes to his genius level creativity and success. Well, I do think there's a good framework for thinking. It is physics. Boil things down to their fundamental truths and reason up from there, as opposed to reasoning by analogy. Through most of our life, we get through life by reasoning by analogy, which essentially means copying what other people do with slight variations said elon musk a first principle is a basic assumption that cannot be deduced any further over 2000 years ago aristotle defined a first principle as the first basis from which a thing is known first principles thinking is a fancy way of saying think like a scientist scientists don't assume anything they that's interesting. I got to stop it right there. We're like a minute or so in the video. I wanted to stop it earlier, but that was hitting us very, very fast with points. So I'm going to stop it right here. That is true. A lot of what we do, and I do this as well. A lot of what we do is, is just copying somebody else who have done it before. If something in the past worked, try it again, but add a twist and make it new, right? That has always been the common thing to do you know once something is out you want to make the same product it's a lot of things that are out that are just copies of old things that used to be that people forgot about but then it worked again because it's new to them you know or or like big companies always want to try the next big thing you know just like let's take fortnite for example i'm a gamer so fortnite blew up now everybody is doing uh, the same type of games like Fortnite, you know, uh, you got Call of Duty making their own battle royale. You have all these battle royales that are trying to copy Fortnite in terms of making it free to play. Like Warzone is just basically what Fortnite, Fortnite made all of this stuff possible. But they are still the ones who started the wave, uh, or at least they're the one who is most famous for the wave. And they didn't even start out that way. And for people who don't know, you know, the gaming analogy, if that didn't rise home with you, you know, just think about something that you love in life right now. People are just copying. Let's take let's take Apple. Apple is always doing things that are different. People are hating. Let's just let's take the new iPhone. You know, when the new iPhone had the weird cameras in the back, people say, oh, man, that's ugly. But people still bought them anyway. And then Samsung copied it. And now they have a big, ugly camera in the back of their phone. So that is very, very true. Let's continue. Let's Start continue. With questions like, what are we absolutely sure is true? What has been proven? Essentially, first principles thinking will help you develop a unique worldview to innovate and solve difficult problems in a way that nobody else can even fathom. I'd like to ask him about his thought process. And also, I'm really curious about how in the world he manages to do multiple impossible things because doing one impossible thing is impossible, but doing like five impossible things is the product of five impossibilities. And that just seems like hyper impossible, but he's managed it. While Musk admit the guy's a genius, the guy's smart, man. He's doing, he's on top of everything that is going on in terms of the cars get into it being the ones who if you think of electric vehicles 
that are a statement is tesla and then the truck isn't out yet but that is going to be interesting take a lot of people pre-ordering the trucks i don't know if it came out yet but everybody's going to be pre-ordering anything like i know the truck isn't out but i don't know if pre-orders like the ability to pre-order is out but it seemed like he's always on top of what's going on it's that arguing from first principles takes a lot more mental energy you can end up with novel or even groundbreaking results these fundamental principles are basically the most basic truths or elements of anything. The best way to uncover these truths is to ask powerful questions that uncover these ingenious gems. Here's a quick example from Elon Musk during an interview with Kevin Rose on how this works. Give me an example of that. Like, what's one thing that you've, you've done that on that you feel has worked for you? Sure. So. Um, somebody could say that factory packs are really expensive and that's just the way they'll always be because that's the way they've been in the past. So first principles would be to say, okay, what are the material constituents of the batteries? What is the spot market value of the material constituents? So you can say, okay, it's got cobalt, nickel, aluminum, carbon, and some polymers for separation and a seal can. So break that down in, on a material basis and say, okay, if we bought that in the London Metal Exchange, what would each of those things cost? Like, oh, it's like $80 per kilowatt hour. So clearly, you just need to think of clever ways to take those materials and combine them into the shape of a battery cell and you can have batteries that are much much cheaper than anyone realizes first principle this man literally <laughs> he literally was spitting out stuff like boom 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 done save money like that that was crazy i'm pretty sure he has saw that and done that plenty of times before the interview but at the same time, thinking of how things are made up and how you can break those down, get them for a cheaper price, put them together. And if you wanted to, he could resell it at the higher price. I don't know how much a new Tesla costs. You know, I'm not into Tesla, like in terms of knowing how much it costs, because I like why I look it up when I'm not going to be one to buy one, not at my current price, you know, my current range of finances, right? Maybe in the future, but we shall see. But that is very impressive. Thinking helps you to cobble together information from different disciplines to create new ideas and innovations. You start by getting to the facts. Once you have a foundation of facts, you can make a plan to improve each little piece. This process naturally leads to exploring widely for better substitutes. The human tendency for imitation is a common roadblock to first principles thinking. When most people envision the future, they project the current form forward rather than projecting the function forward and abandoning the form. For instance, when criticizing technological progress, some people ask, where are the flying cars? Here's the thing, we have flying cars. They're called airplanes. People who ask this question are so focused on form. Huh, that's interesting. Taking what is to come, but making it look different. Because there aren't any flying cars, but then they're like, we do got airplanes, right? We do already have airplanes. At first I was thinking like, what is what is they talking about? What, what do you mean? There aren't any just flying cars, but you do have airplanes. I feel like one day we're going to live in a world where there are cars that just going up. And I'm like, I don't know if we're going to live to see that. But but I will say, innovating and becoming the first person to do something that is outside of the box is exactly what Elon Musk has done. And that's why the product of Tesla, the idea and the thought of Tesla being the future is what makes it so valuable. A flying object that looks like a car, that they overlook the function transportation by flight this is what elon musk is referring to when he says that people often live life by analogy after our meeting i sent him a, a tweet saying the world wants to know uh are you an alien <laughs> and he responded saying no i'm not but i used to be usually when we're faced with complex problems we default to thinking like everybody else First principles thinking is a powerful way to help you break out of this herd mentality. Think outside the box and innovate completely brand new solutions to familiar problems. By identifying your current assumptions, breaking these down into their basic truths and creating solutions from scratch, you can uncover these ingenious solutions to complex problems. 
like I said, I just said it, bro. Thinking outside of the box, coming up with something new, or not being a part of the crowd, but standing out from the crowd, being an outlier. The outlier nowadays is going to get way more attention than who's in the crowd. You get lost in the crowd. I watched this video in order to try to get some success perspective on my YouTube channel here and also my gaming channel in order to take things to the next level. I'm not trying to create cars or anything, but I'm trying to boost my, you know, revenue, my YouTube channel, everything that I'm doing in life to become financially independent. So, and the hard part is coming up with that that different thing. Take the same thing and essentially make it look different. It's kind of what I'm getting from this And video. make unique contributions in any field. Many of the most groundbreaking ideas in history have been a result of boiling things down to the first principles and then substituting a more effective solution for one of the key parts. For instance, Johannes Gutenberg combined the technology of a screw press, a device used for making wine, with movable type, paper, and ink to create the printing press. Movable type had been used for centuries, but Gutenberg was the first person to consider the constituent parts of the process and adapt technology from an entirely different field to make printing far more efficient. The result was a world-changing innovation and the widespread distribution of information for the first time in history. Putting multiple things together that seem different at first and making it one thing that is just new and innovative. That is the entire purpose of this video. Making things that people did not think of at first possible, making things faster by putting two things together that would by themselves serve no purpose, you know, in a certain area, but together it creates new opportunity. That's that's crazy, bro. That's crazy. Okay. The best solution is not where everyone is already looking. Be wary of the ideas you inherit. Old conventions and previous forms are often accepted without question. And once accepted, they set a boundary around creativity. This difference is one of the key distinctions between continuous improvement and first principles thinking. Continuous improvement tends to occur within the boundary set by the original vision. By comparison, first principles thinking requires you to abandon your allegiance to previous forms and put the function front and center. What are you trying to accomplish? <laughs> Look what at that dance. is the functional outcome you are looking Smoking to achieve? Smoking on that purple. <laughs> Optimize the function. Ignore the form. This is how you learn to think for yourself. Ending thoughts on the entire video. I think it was eye breaking. I think a lot of people won't even think twice. Once they watch this video, they'll forget the principles and the things that the video is trying to tell you. The video is trying to tell you don't be a part of the crowd, be yourself. If you have an idea that is not necessarily widely known or widely accepted, go with it. Maybe you'll turn out with. A good outcome however i will say not everything you do a part of this will work but you just gotta keep trying you gotta keep on trying that's what it all boils down to in my personal opinion let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below anyways i'll see you in the next one man look continue to grind continue to shine it's your boy david i'm out